Al, he wasn't there too long before he began uh, spending time in my office reading uh, technical publications on lubrication, synthetic oil. And he said, all the jets in the world use this oil. I remember him saying that. I said, yeah. he said, well, wouldn't it be good in cars? I think what got Al interested in synthetic lubricants is the knowledge that that, that, that jet airplane he was flying was surviving and able to survive because synthetic lubricants were used in that engine to cool it and lubricate it. He understood and knew that a normal mineral oil would not survive that environment. So I think what he did is said, hey, the environment in this jet engine is very, very severe, but then again, the environment within the gasoline engine is not a whole lot less severe. I think there's advantages for synthetic lubricants to be used in the automobile engine. Seeds of ambition sown years earlier, glimpsed in a young boy's contemplation of cars crossing a bridge, in the goal printed in a high school yearbook, and in lessons absorbed from an enterprising businesswoman, were about to bear fruit. After years of witnessing firsthand the advantages of synthetic lubricants in jet engines, Al Amatuzio's mind had fixed on a new goal. Why not in cars? And that's when he got the whole idea to go into business with synthetic oil, his Amsoil company. And you know, at the time, people were poo-pooing it. When he first came out with his synthetic oil, they said, Al, uh, I think he's been at altitude too long without oxygen. There was an officer down in St. Paul that I knew quite well, who was an insurance man, who called uh, Amos oil moose milk. And he says, the ammo's going to go broke, monkey with his moose milk. In fact, Al's idea was based on established science. His concept was the application of a highly developed technology to a need as old as the internal combustion engine itself.